Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Ninja XTX, and welcome to the ninth video in my fourth round of philosophy videos. Don't let your ego kill your blessing. We often In life, we often get caught up by celebrity or the glitz and get glamour of being surrounded by those that live, that think we are important. That's true. That's good. You should always be surrounded by people that think that lift you up. You should also, but you should also be surrounded by those that also keep that keep you grounded. Because you can get so high and then eventually you fall and hit the ground. Why did you fall? I'll give you guys a minute to think about that. The reason you fall is because so many of us often forget what it's like to not be successful. What it's like to work for what we have accomplished. Blessings just don't drop into our laps. God knows when he's going to give us a blessing, but he's going to see how hard we work for it and how much we put our faith into him that he will give us said blessing. If you don't, the blessing can easily be taken away. However, the devil can also use our blessings. How you may ask? Because often when we become blessed, we get a swelled head. When we get that swelled head, it blinds us to the true meaning of our blessings. When we get that swelled head, from getting one blessing, it can often prevent us from stepping into the door of the next blessing. So, stay humble, know where your blessings came from, reach back and give those that were responsible for your blessing, try to bless them, because the second you forget your blessings, the second you as some people say, the second you start smelling yourself and start thinking, oh, well, I'm big time. Guess what? The second you think you're big time, the second you start believing that you're bigger than what God intended for you, no. Those blessings will be taken away. Now, God intends big things for us, but we have to be willing to work for them and put faith behind what we're doing. If faith is not your foundation, it's not meant for you to have it. So, if it's taken away, don't dwell on it 
because the second you dwell on it and again get a swelled head, you'll lose everything. I hope that made sense for you guys. I hope that touched someone hard. I hope that made someone think about what they may be doing in life. Please take care of yourselves and each other. One world, one love. If you guys have any questions, comments, or requests, please send them to my YouTube account. Or if you know how to get in touch with me on my personal Facebook, please do so there. Thank you guys for watching. God bless. Bye-bye for now.